Elizabeth, Queen of the Seas, written by Lynn Cox, illustrated by Brian Floca. This is the story of an elephant seal who lived not in the ocean like most seals, but in the Avon River in Christchurch, New Zealand. After swimming, she would climb onto the shore for a nap in the sunshine. If she got too hot, she'd use her flippers to fling cool mud onto her back. The town loved her and decided to name her Elizabeth because she was strong and powerful, just like the Queen of England. A boy named Michael loved looking for the seal every day on his way to and from school. If she wasn't above the water, he would yell out, Elizabeth! Hello! Elizabeth, Queen of the Seas! Are you there? If she was near, she'd turn, look at him, and snort as if to say hello. One morning, Elizabeth crawled out of the river and onto the two-lane road, and for some reason, she decided to stay. She was almost hit by two cars and caused another one to crash into a rock. Scared, she belly flopped back into the water. People of the town became worried for her safety and the safety of their town in case she would cause an accident. They decided it would be better for her to live with other elephant seals. So a group of volunteers led her away to a sandy beach with others like her. For some reason, Elizabeth left the beach, and after swimming back across the cold open ocean, she returned to the Avon River. Michael was excited to see his friend, but then she was back in the road. So, volunteers took her to an even farther seal colony, and she came back again. For a third time, the volunteers towed her hundreds of miles away before letting her go. This time, it took her three months to return. Michael was so happy. Finally, the people of Christchurch realized Elizabeth was staying, so they had to do something. They decided to put up a sign, Slow, Elephant Seal Crossing. Now, their dear friend was safe. What?